Dear ladies and gentlemen, the NF Wire Forum would like to give you an overview of the main wire break types and their possible root causes, which we as a consortium partners are confronted with by our customers on a daily basis. Unfortunately, there are incidences resulting in wire breaks, which lead to downtimes in your production departments. Important is to understand what kind of wire breaks the sample shows and what leads to the different wire break types. All in all, wire break is an unfavorable result of interactions between wire material, drawing dies, lubricant, and the machine, as well as the drawing process parameters. In general, there are well-known wire break types which occur from time to time each and every wire production facility. There are three main types, which are first, cup and cone, second, ductile force, and third, inclusion breaks. The other mentioned types are well known and present too, but with less frequency to our experiences, but important to know as well to be identified correctly. The typical wire breaks are listed here top down. First of all, the cup and cone break. You have a cup side with a deep cavity in the middle of the wire or a cone side with a symmetrical necking and a tip. You see normally surface defects, draw marks, etc., a side of the breakage area, and no impurities uh, of face agglomerations, but inner cracks, so-called craw feeds, in longitudinal cross sections. So the damage mechanism yeah, is a high shear stress between the wire surface and the neutral line, and that induced um, local material failures where the max material stress level is exceeded. So then the inner cracks, the so-called craw feeds, occur. The tip of the craw feed is orientated in drawing direction, and with yeah, additional strain, these cracks grow and reduce the load-bearing cross-section of the wire until the wire breaks. So possible root causes are insufficient lubrication or a short instant of lubrication film in the drawing die. So only a second or a millisecond without lubrication um, can yeah, contribute to these inner cracks. And these inner cracks occur um, in dies uh, much before the break. Then a drawing die wear can uh, be the reason, or uh, a drawing die which is clogged or blocked. Let's come to the second cup and cone break, uh, which is characterized by a hole and a conus at both break ends normally and a necking at break area. Uh, what is what is clearly visible is the second phase enrichment um, locally in the microstructure. The damage mechanism and the possible root causes are, yeah, in the end, the second phase enrichment, which causes tensions in the microstructure, yeah, depending on the size and the distribution um, of these second phases and the different forming behavior of the second phase. Um, the crack yeah, develops, um, the separation of the material is increasing, and in the end there is a ductile breaking of the remaining cross section. The root cause is definitely the cuprous enrichment of a copper wire rod line. Let's come to the force break or strain induced break. There is a local symmetrical necking of the material. Um, and there is a ductile break area with funnel or so-called honeycomb structure. And you see normally drawing marks or other surface failures in drawing direction. The damage mechanism and the possible root causes are a geometrical softening, so the necking of the wire, which is 
bigger than the physical hardening of the metal of the copper wire. There's an uncontrolled local plastic deformation by tensile stress. The root causes can be blocked wires on the capstan or in general unfavorable conditions of wire, dyes and yeah, process parameters. Let's come to the very well-known inclusion brakes. Um, typical um, is the V-shape of the brake area, with or without pressed in or inner particles. Then you see as well the surface cracks, small ones, in drawing direction. And if you are lucky, you can find as well smaller particles or rest of particles in these crack lines. The damage mechanism and the possible root causes are in the end yeah, reduction of the load bearing cross section by the particles or inclusions with yeah, wire diameter reduction during the drawing process. We have a notch effect, we have yeah, exceeding of the failure stress. And yeah, these particles or inclusions um, are in contact with a copper wire surface, um, so the surface can collect these loose particles over the entire process chain, including transport and stocking. And yeah, these particles can come from the casting, rolling, but as well from the drawing area. Let's come to the force break with rolled in or pressed in particles, so-called surface uh, break. We have a necking um, of the cross section, but typically there is material coming off the surface. So it is material which is only pressed on the surface, which is coming up. The damage and the uh, yeah, damage mechanism and the possible root cause are yeah, particles from mechanical surface damages and pressed or rolled in uh, the surface. Particles can negatively influence uh, the lubrication and cooling and increases the drawing forces. And in the end, it's exceeding the forming um, ability of the material. So these particles, flakes, flitters, can come from different production steps. Let's come to the so-called weld brakes. We have to distinguish between two different um, breaks here, between the hot weld break and the cold weld break. Uh, in the upper part, you see the so-called fish mouth, a very typical feature of um, hot weld break. If you look into the microstructure, you see as well a noticed uh, cuprous network uh, in the weld area, which is not the case for cold weld break. There you see a uniform microstructure on both sides of the joint, but you see, let me say, the, the join line um, under around 45 degrees um, to the drawing direction. The damage mechanism and the possible root causes are yeah, different microstructure with different mechanical properties or um, oxide enrichment as well. Um, and in the end, an unsuitable welding process or even, yeah, process parameters which are not suitable. Let's come to the last one. Uh, it's the annealing break. You see a smooth surface break area. So you see molten, molten material at the tip. And normally you see as well further burned spots on the break sample. Yeah, the uh, damage mechanism and possible root causes are yeah, the melting of the wire by an electric arc. So the material uh, is normally annealed at the end of the production. And the root causes can be badly guided wire on the contact rolls um, or grooves on the contact roll. Let me summarize my presentation. So break type at fine wire drawing um, can be detected with appropriate equipment on the micro scopic level. Um, it is important to determine the root cause and uh, to implement elimination measures. Uh, scanning electron microscopy can help you to investigate further uh, to get additional information, for example, of the inclusion material. A preparation of a cross section is yeah, at these diameters very, very complex um, and normally reveal no further information 
of the root cause. Um, and yeah, the big portion of fine wire breaks are inclusion, strain induced, and cup and cone breaks. Thank you very much.